Good morning, everyone. I've been in bed for a long time. I'm in England at Caitlin's house. And there's a puppy. Oh, red Um, Yesterday, I literally did nothing. I swam in the river and did yoga and ate food and watched three movies. <laughs> and I got to FaceTime with all of you at the cabin. Uh, but today, I'm going to actually try to do something... I'm just really enjoying being lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to get up. It's daylight out, even though it's hard to believe. And I'm going to go do something with my life. Come along. I'm here in the kitchen. And there's a little baby deer in the backyard. It's called something. I don't know what it's called, but Caitlin remembers. Isn't it cute? We'll go chase it. Well, I've driven about quite a bit and um, I've come across a castle. It's called Castle Rising Castle. I don't know, it's not very original at all, is it? <laughs> oh, my accent. <laughs> I literally talk to myself while I like do things in that accent now. I've actually become a British person, so I shan't be coming home. Sorry. <laughs> Found this castle, it's literally called Castle Rising Castle, and it's raining really hard, and I don't have an umbrella, <laughs> and the castle doesn't have a um, ceiling on it, so we'll see how this goes. Are you ready, Ridge? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Let's go. Ooh, okay. So we're here in the Castle Rising Castle, and um, I have puppy with me, and it's raining. <laughs> Sorry, Ridge. <laughs> And it's a really pretty castle. I don't know what the history is. I have an audio tour that sometimes I can understand because their accents on the tour are really heavy. It's really pretty in here. It's really high up. This would have been th three stories, maybe four. So it's a really tall room. It's very pretty in the rain. It's really neat. Come on, Rich. The boy. The well, which provided water. Oh, we can go up there, Rich. Let's do. So this was the well where the water came from. Oh my. That's a very dark abyss. I don't think I can see the bottom. Keep four building. In this entrance, the vestibule is a grand doorway which was blocked by a fireplace in the 16th century. It once led into the Great Hall but was blocked after the whole floor had, been, had collapsed. The vaulting was added in the late 13th or 14th century. This is the vaulting on the ceiling. And this is the great fireplace. And this is just the room in general, and that's Ridge, and I'm Allison. Come in here, come in. Oh, we're just down there. Oh. This castle is epic. So this is the chapel antechamber. I don't know what that means. Um, but this is the actual chapel. It's beautiful. And step up on these stairs you can almost imagine the dome that was here it's really pretty it has a pretty view into the great hall and then out at the front gate that's what the chapel looks at so we're up on the fourth floor this is incredible We're just so excited. 
There you can look out the front gate again. Wow. Oh wait, what does this go to? Nothing. Originally this room was the only one on this floor. Oh, this was a bedroom, but you see the floor's quite fallen in. So it can't go in there. Martina, if I was here with you, I would totally be climbing everything. Sorry, I decided to stuff a cookie in my mouth right before I started vlogging. I don't know why. Okay. That was really fun. It was beautiful. And we got really wet. And then... Right before we left, Ridge left a nice present in the castle garden. <laughs> I don't know where we're going now. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just driving around and hopefully I can find my way back to Diddlington tonight. And I don't know how it'll go, so I don't know if I'm doing it again. I really want coffee. <laughs> in, a, in a coffee shop. Okay, bye. So I drove some more. I, I really have to. to the bone now <laughs> yay and uh, I'm soaked through my jeans and I'm covered in sand and it feels great because I love rain and I love the ocean and I love all those things and it all just happened at one time so I'm driving back and I've been listening to the radio and of course imitating everything they say something I forgot to tell you guys that a saying here is instead of asking someone how are you you say you okay and that's how you ask how are you? Well, it's really funny because, you know, back home, if you ask someone, you okay? Usually you ask that when something sad, like hard or sad or tragic has happened or else they just don't look like they're doing good. You know, you okay? Like, but here it's how everyone says, so you walk into like a restaurant and your waitress will walk up to you, but you okay? You know, or the person at the cash register or whatever. And it really was startling for the first like, week I was here because I was like what yes do I look like I've been crying like what's the deal anyway they just said it on the radio again and I started laughing because I forgot to tell you that so now you know you can start asking each other you okay well I got back to the house and I made dinner and because I went to, okay I went to look for um a place to eat dinner and everywhere was closed because it's not America and everywhere closes at like six so, I made dinner and I watched a movie. I'm watching Netflix on my phone because it's not working on my computer. Bridge wants to play fetch. So we're on a walk on this beautiful lane and it's still raining pretty hard. So of course I'm in a red riding hood cape. Thanks Caitlin. And I have an umbrella and I'm just going to walk a wee bit. So, so I realized I never showed you how close the house is to the river and the horses. So I'm gonna show you that. So the house is just right there and the river is literally at this bridge. So this is where we walk down through and go down into the river. And this is the bridge. It's beautiful. It's very old. Heel. Good boy. So it's really pretty and scenic, and that's where I hammock, right there along the river. And then you just walk down past the next bridge, and that's where the horses are. Let's go say hello. So anyway, we walk down the road, takes like two minutes, and right here is the pasture, and there's Verona and Buffy. And they're grazing. And then right across the little 
dam in the pasture, there are two little ponies. Those horses are each like, they're like the size of a baby horse, but they're full grown. So, Ridge is eating grass. Oh, I'm touching a pokey. So anyway, ow, we're gonna walk back now. Come on, Ridge, let's go. I got to FaceTime with you guys today, and it was really fun, and I love you, and you're uh, my favorites. So, okay, bye. Good, good boy. <laughs> good stick. Oh, that's good, should I throw it? Okay, give. Ready? Oh, I broke already. Ready? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> good boy. Get it. Get it, get it. Yeah.